In this video, we're given a frequency table, and we have to answer various uh, questions. So the first question wants the lower class limits. So the lower class limits are just these numbers that appear here, the 100, the 200, the 300, the 400, and the 500. The upper class limits are the other numbers here, 199, 299, etc. So let's type in the lower class limits. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And that should be all of them. Yep. So let's try it. Good stuff. Not once the upper class limits. So those are these numbers here, 199, 299, etc. These are the biggest numbers that fit in the class. The lower class limits are the smallest number that fit in each class. So for example, for the first class, the smallest number that fits in there is 100. And the biggest number is 199. So there are 25 uh, females with uh, the blood platelet I'm not sure how to say it, count uh, between those numbers. So this is 199, 299, 399, 499, and 599. Let's try it. Good stuff. Now it wants the class width. So to find the class width, all you do is you subtract. So let me show you. So the class width is just going to be 200 minus 100. You can just subtract any two consecutive lower class limits or upper class limits, right? You can do 299 minus 199, that also gives you 100. Or you can do 400 minus 300, that also gives you 100. So that will be the class width. I just called it CW to abbreviate it, so 100. Let's try it. Beautiful stuff. Identify the class midpoints. So for the midpoints, there's a formula, right? The midpoint formula says you take the upper class limit plus the lower class limit and divide by 2. You can also write it as lower plus upper. I usually do. Um, I'm not sure why I did it that way. So 199, that's the upper class limit, plus the lower, which is 100. Then you divide by 2. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 299 divided by 2. So let's put it into the calculator. So 299 divided by 2. That's going to be 149.5. So 149.5. Okay, that's going to be our first midpoint. Be careful if you're putting it in your calculator all at once. Um, you want to have it in parentheses, okay? So parentheses 199 plus 100 parentheses divided by 2. Very common mistake. Uh, as people forget the parentheses. So really, really useful to, uh, to have those there. Okay, let's try it. 149.5. And now we need the other ones. So there's a shortcut. Once you find the first one, you just keep adding the class width. So you just do 100 plus 149.5. So if you add 100 to that, it's 249.5. Then add 100, it's 349.5. And that always works. You can just find the first one, and then just keep adding the class width, 449.5, and then 549.5. Let's try it. Good stuff. The boundaries. This is the hardest thing uh, to find, the boundaries. Let's do it. So boundaries. So the boundaries are kind of weird. So the way I do it, let me go ahead and write down what we have. We have this, All right, 200 to 299, et cetera. Right. So the way I find the boundaries is I first take these two numbers and add them up and divide by 2. So always take, always take those two numbers and add them up and divide by 2. So 199 plus 200 divided by 2. It's like you're finding the midpoint of those two numbers. That's 199.5. This is your second boundary. Second, I'll just put BDRY, second boundary. So that's going to be here, 199.5. So step one to finding the boundaries is you take these two numbers here, these, these two like off diagonal. I call them off diagonal because um, the diagonal here is, is, is these. If you, if you know anything about matrices, uh, the 100 and the 299, that would be the diagonal. So the off diagonal is this other weird combination here. So these guys, right? Always these. Whoops. Always take these. And then you um, add them up and divide by two. That's your second boundary. To get the one before it, just subtract the class width. 
So if you subtract 100 from 199.5, you just get 99.5, right? Right, so again, you just subtract the class width. So it'd be 199.5 minus 100, so that's 99.5, okay? And to get the other ones, you just keep adding 100, which is the class width. So 299.5, 399.5, 499.5, and then 599.5. So it takes a bit of practice, so just memorize it. That's, that's how I do it. I haven't memorized. So you take these two, and you add them up, and you divide by two. That gives you the second boundary. Then you just add and subtract the class width to get the others. The boundaries are going to be used uh, for something called a histogram, which we'll do uh, later. Identify the number of individuals included in the summary. So to do that, all we have to do is add up the frequencies. So let's do it. So it'll be 25 plus 91 plus 28 plus 1 plus 4. So that's 149. So let's try it. So 149. Check answer. And that's it. I, uh, I hope that helped.